Hello everybody and welcome back to Oakford Farm. So as you can see I do have another load of hay bales loaded up onto the trailer. The sky is looking a bit grim. I don't think there's going to be any bad weather. You can see the forecast just here and it's really just showing a fairly overcast day without any serious issues with rain or anything. Uh, rain on Saturday but otherwise yeah it should stay mostly dry today hopefully. So yes every single bale has to be put into either storage or the sell point before it does rain. I don't think there's a big rush, but as the sky does look like this, oh, it's pretty good, the sun is coming out, it is still worth um, yes, just getting all taken over to the sell point. Now in yesterday's video, you will have seen that I used a pallet fork to sell the bales. That's really because I just use the pallet fork a great deal. However, it is time. It is time to buy a more appropriate bale tool. This is rough. I should slow down. Uh, yes, we're going to go for a much more appropriate one, an actual bale grab, which can support three to four bales. And not only is it going to just look better, but it's also going to be much easier for me to unload. Oh, look, my field over there looks to be ripe. I don't think it'll be ready yet, but um, it certainly looks ripe. That's one thing I've noticed with seasons. The, the crop can look ready. You can go up to it and take a look, and it'll look really, really ready to go. But actually, it won't be. So let's just see. Sometimes, I did notice as well, on 17, um, it could look ripe even on this map here. It would say ready to harvest, and yet you put the combine in, and it doesn't do anything for a few days. But, as you can see, it is actually still growing. I think what they've done is they've put the ripe texture on the final growth stage, and then, yes, probably in the next day or so, both these fields can be harvested. So it looks like, so far, we're going to have a pretty good crop. I think what I'll do is I'll take a look at those fields when I come back in a second because yes I, I really do need to make sure there's no weeds or anything uh, we're actually doing really well for for weeds I did switch the option back on again but yeah no weeds emerged so I, I don't know if it's quite as uh, definite as it is in the base game where you're always gonna get weeds if you have weeds on you're guaranteed to get a really bad infestation in seasons, I don't know, you definitely get weeds, but as for the the probability of getting a full infestation, I don't know, I really don't. So we're just going to have to, uh, well, spray it if it needs it, but technically we should, we should need to spray it. So, yes, let's go over to the BGA and make some more money. In the previous episode, I made a fair bit from the first trailer load. It was actually very impressive. So there are two ways into here. I tend to go this way. It just seems to be much easier, but you can go uh, through the other entrance there. or links up. So, uh, yes, I think if I park it in the position I was in before, that would be absolutely fine. Also, we do have now quite a few of these pallet forks. We just don't need so many, especially as this JCB doesn't take telehandler attachments. It seems to take front loader attachments. So, yes, if I wanted to use one of these on here again. I could just use the one which is currently on the tractor. So we can make a tiny bit of money back. Hang on, where is the entrance? Just there. And we can also spend a bit of money on a really decent bale grab, bale spike. There is only one thing which does concern me here and that is uh, it is well, a telehandler but it does seem to take the front loader attachments like I said so I don't know if I have to buy a front loader bale spike or if I have to buy a telehandler bell spike. That is the issue which I have. <laughs> um, so this might be a bit of trial and error. We'll have to find out. Anyway, first of all, we do have this one here for a front loader. We could probably customize it for free though in the workshop. So if it doesn't fit, all I have to do is take it over there and I can hopefully get it sorted out. But yeah, first things first, Let's try this. Fingers crossed. Aha, good. It is going to be very heavy. Very heavy indeed for this machine. But I think we'll be okay. It managed to pick up three yesterday without any issues at all. So we'll just sell that and then we can go and move those bells. As for putting any bells in storage, I just don't think we need to keep any. Right, £764 for that. Good. Yeah, the pigs don't require hay bales and the uh, chickens don't, so it would be pointless 
keeping hay bales. We might as well just make as much money as possible. Okay, so once I have unloaded these bales to the bed, I can then use this and sell them. There is one thing I have to do when selling these bales, and that is to make sure that the time is fast enough for the anaerobic digester processor there to actually process. Once it gets to 50,000 litres, it will stop, and it won't take any more bales, so I just need to make sure it keeps taking the bales so there's no issues. Also, let me just familiarise myself with this. I think... I think I did I, con I did I configured it. I configured it to here. So that's alright. Just going to take a little bit of practice. Okay, so we are ready to go back over to the field, and yes, I can't really say that I I feel that we have more bells than I expected, because yes, we actually have almost half what I expected. I thought it was going to be 200, but actually there was only 105. But even 105, that is still a lot of bales, and those two cars almost crashed into each other. The blue car didn't even bother looking, you crazy driver. Um, so yeah, that is, that is good, but we need to know, now go back for the next load. Which is going to be, um, well, another full one, that's for sure. And then I think there's even more after that. So many. But first, we're going to go over to the field at the top and just take a quick look. Also, I think another application of fertiliser is in order. It would be... A foolish idea not to give it all the applications that it deserves because we're just going to basically make less money from exactly the same thing but that is looking great and it says weeds zero percent just to prove i haven't got it switched off weeds on so yeah 66 percent fertilized that means we are two-thirds of the way through so one more application and it is going to be the healthiest oat crop you've ever seen with tram lines complete with tram lines and they really don't look too bad. They really don't. I'm so happy with it. As for the other field, which is wheat, it won't look quite as good. It might even have weeds, but it still shouldn't be too bad. Let's just take a really quick look here. It, it looks good, but we do have the percentage chart, which tells us about the weeds. Zero percent. Wow. So, yeah, clearly, Seasons isn't just guaranteeing weed infestation every single time. Maybe because it was fallow, it's done a good job because these fields were fallow when I when I first went to them. I don't know, but that is impressive. I am very impressed. There is still time for weeds to germinate, but they're never going to establish, are they, and take over the crop. So we might get away with doing no herbicide, which will save me a lot of time and money. Anyway, back to the grass field to get some more hay. So yeah, just the same as yesterday, I'm using the auto stacking trailer, which you've probably already established anyway, uh, purely because we have so many bells. It's going to be, well, it is a big job anyway, uh, doing it with even the auto stacking trailer. If I was to do this all with the telehandler, I think my estimation of four episodes wasn't too far off. It would easily be four half an hour episodes, and it would just be so dull doing the same thing over and over again. It is something for a time lapse, so yeah, I can't really guarantee it's going to be in the multiplayer time lapses because we don't tend to do bells, but if I'm in the server, I don't have a big problem with bells because, yeah, as long as the bells don't remain, as long as they are sold, it doesn't really cause too much server lag. Which is the only reason, well, there's two reasons. Two reasons why I don't allow bales to be made in the multiplayer server. One is it does create lag, and secondly, um, yes, I can imagine somebody creating a, a force field, some kind of bale fort, and <laughs> putting bales absolutely everywhere when somebody comes to crash into it. So, yeah, bales are off limits that's for sure but if an admin is in then the rules can be relaxed as long as every single bale is sold before the admin leaves so I might do some bale work in those multiplayer videos on this is island which I'm really enjoying I know the video doesn't get quite as many likes as a standard episode due to lack of uh, narration I believe that's from what I've picked up from the comments 
but it's still something different and it allows me to cover another map because I can never cover I can never cover so many let's plays without getting them all mixed up doing a time lapse is something very different it keeps it separated right so we have that many bells left in the field one more load after this one and then it will be time for sleep in fact it's probably going to be time for sleep before that load but I really do need to get it moved today so it could well be dark I have to go very slow over here but I will see you back over at the BGA we'll get these sold uh, not too sure if I time lapse it but either way I'll show you a bit of it Twenty two thousand litres left in the processor, so we're definitely gonna have to speed up time. You will have noticed in my time lapse that I was doing it like this, which I am amazed about. I couldn't believe this little telehandler could pick up six. Highly unrealistic, but highly useful. Um, it's sort of on its limits. It's doing kind of doing a wheelie. Yeah, you can see the wheel spin on the back wheel. So, you know, it gets the job done, but it's not exactly well, it would snap its axles, I think. I don't think... Well, I think before it snapped its axles, it just wouldn't be able to lift it. It's quite an achievement. I think it's probably the most powerful telehandler in Farming Simulator, yet it is one of the smallest. Which makes it an incredible telehandler. I'm back at the field and it should, hopefully, uh, process all of these before midnight. If it does do, then I'm going to get paid for all of it and we should get given one big lump sum for all of today's selling, which I think is going to be a really substantial amount. It, it should be like forty to fifty thousand pounds, maybe even more, sixty thousand potentially. So not really what I had in mind for this field, it was supposed to be silage, but regardless of that, it's actually turned out really well. Uh, getting that many hay bales is not an issue at all, I'm so happy with this. So yep, yeah, back over to the BGA, get these unloaded really quickly, and providing they have processed by midnight, we shouldn't have any more payments carried over to the following day. Everything should come in tonight at 12am. Okay, so nice and easy, not too many to unload, it's just the processing time which could be a potential issue, but I'm sure it'll be fine. As you can see we do have already 19,000 litres in there, uh, put all this on top of it and I think it was still have processed by midnight, I really do, yes I was doing <laughs> six in one go before. Uh, because it's lower, we're going to be doing four, which is still not really bad going. It's quite a bit of weight. So, just get them all in, if they don't fall off first, and then we'll see how we go. And here we go, the last bale. So, is that, no, we've still got one on there processing, and 50, well, we've got one on there waiting to process, 50,000 processing. And, yeah, if I can get it dropped off, that'd be good. Add it to the queue. So there we go. We have an hour and a half of 50, well, 58,000 litres to fully process. Um, I'm inclined to wait for it. <laughs> I would like to see. I think, oh yes, definitely. Uh, that current rate is definitely going to be done by midnight. So let's head back. Let's just turn all this off and stuff. Turn it off there. And we can head back and go to bed. I like the lights at the back, the LED lights. Always looks good. I do have beacons as well. But not really necessary now. So there we go. Uh, £54,720. Which of course means we're back up at 100 
and £77,000. Well, it was worth it. It really was worth it, even though I leased a load of machinery. I do still have the baler. That is for the straw. Uh, so, yeah, we have all the straw to be selling as well. I mean, that is a big field to be selling straw from. I think the same approach is going to have to apply. Might even have to get another tractor and trailer on lease, or a trailer on lease, so that we can do a load of carting. Take a number of vehicles over to the cell point in one go. But we will have to establish that nearer to the time. For today, I'm going to go to bed. Ah, look at that. Very nice day. Nice and sunny. And no rain in the forecast, I don't think. Nope, seems really good. So, um, yes, let's just sort out what we're doing. I need to spray the oat field. The oat field is the priority. So if I take the trailer with the spray chemicals on it up to the field, we can then take the sprayer. Uh, we do currently have the granulated fertilizer, so maybe if I... I suppose I could fill it up here. I could fill it up here. keep it here anyway. Yep, so we don't even need to do that. We can just very simply fill that sprayer up from the IBC which is currently situated behind it and then I do need to get a tractor which can have row crops and also I could really do with cleaning my machines. I did actually get sent a link for a different pressure washer which isn't a karcher so I'll get that downloaded for the next episode. I'll make sure we do that because yes this tractor is obviously going to really require a wash. We have a workshop as well but I have lost it. Hmm, come to think of it, maybe we don't have a workshop. I thought we did have one, but I can't actually see one. So that's a bit of a issue. Unless I have just not spotted it. I'm not saying there isn't one. I'm saying I can't see one. Well, luckily I have a few supplies here. Maybe I have... Maybe it's in there. Is it in there? Hmm. I don't think so, but... No. There could be one. I have here a jack, which has the ability to levitate, a toolbox, and some fuel. Should be enough for me. All I want to do is change those tyres around. We need to go for the row crop. So if we go for narrow tyres, there we go. A thousand pounds because I haven't actually uh, bought them before. But that's pretty good. And all this is going to do is basically eliminate the chance of any more crop destruction. I could just turn the option off, but this is the realistic way of doing it. So I know we have just been unrealistic with the bales, but that just had to be done like that. Um, so yeah, if I can help it, which I can do in this case, I'm going to go for the more sensible, more realistic option. So we have 3% in there. If I can just get that topped up, that would be very good. There we go. And I don't know if it'll take the whole lot, but it's going to be very close. I'd have thought it would take it all. Now I'm beginning to wonder how many IBC loads I've put in the previous load. Maybe I just pretty much emptied that one and put the other one in completely. Uh, yes. Anyway, I, th that's going to be enough for now. We'll do that today. And then, either off screen or in the beginning of the next episode, I will get another IBC and we can do whatever hasn't been done, but 40%, that still goes quite a long way in one of these. It's going well. I've seen a few withered areas. I'm not too sure why a few areas would wither. Obviously we had the uh, failed germination, but then we have withering as well. Just a few areas. I can show you the map in a second. Um, it will put it down as a brown spot. If it's a blue spot it means it's failed to germinate. As soon as I have run out, which is 5%, which we get to the end hopefully, I can show you the map. But overall, there is still going to be a very good crop here and potentially many hundreds of thousands of pounds if the bales are going to be worth as much as the hay which I think they are I think hay and straw in seasons is the same price and then grass is worth absolutely nothing you just give it away right 3% until it's depleted 
but I do like how the tram lines are now working. It's very good. Okay, so 80 litres roughly. I think we're going to get to the end, although it's going to be very tight. We'd have to get right to the end because I've already gone around there. We just have to overlap where we've been, which is not going to be easy. Although, actually, no, I take that back. It's going to be very easy. Should just about have made it. Good. Right, so as that's folding up, I can show you exactly what we've just done. This field here. So, yeah, blue specks are germination failed. We already knew about that. But the brown specks are withered. How they managed to wither in so many areas, I'm not too sure. But they did. Looks like somebody else is filled with it too. Interesting. But I only care about my two. Uh, we've got two withering spots in this field, so actually, this one here has got a lot. But yep, anyway, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.